Hey guys, it's Andrea here and I hope that you guys are having a great day in this crazy, crazy world. So today we are going to be trying out some products from e.l.f. including the e.l.f. and Chipotle collection to try out the foundations. If you guys are excited to see how the foundation holds up and baiting if you want to buy it or not, I know that it's news. But I wanted to try out this foundation for myself because I've been curious. Subscribe down below if you haven't. Let's get on to this e.l.f. review. Okay, so I didn't get to record the audio for the following. I did just put moisturizer. I don't put primer or anything. Uh, I wet the Chipotle um, e.l.f. sponge. And it did come out like soft. So yeah, anyways not much you missed but yeah so far i did like the foundation so yeah get back to the video yeah it did cover up my blemishes really well a little bit orange but you know that's probably the yeah i did get it a little bit too dark but yeah let me just look so far it looks fine i don't know if it's just me <sighs> whenever my skin is like really bad i feel like foundation doesn't look that well but you know that's just me i'm gonna use the avocado sponge i'm gonna use a sponge very soft it's not it's not rough at all i'm trying to see if it oxidized maybe it's just me i feel like it did a little bit or maybe i'm wrong but it on camera it does look like it oxidized yeah i think it did a little bit because it looks a little bit more dark on this side and then when I put it on first it looks a little bit lighter so I turned down the lights a little bit here is a little bit of a better look at it this coverage for me is fine honestly but it does build up it does build up I haven't tried this as well I bought the elf hydrating camo concealer i've used their regular uh the original one the matte one but i'm just gonna see if this works and i did get i did get fair warm so i don't know i hope that it's a good match i hope it's a little bit lighter than my foundation how it looks like i think the original one has it has a black top and this one has a white like this concealer does cover up a lot so now from what i can see it does cover up pretty good even that that amount covered up pretty good no issues it doesn't look dry so i'm just gonna finish up the rest of my face i so far i like this but we'll see how it wears We'll move on to the Chipotle eyeshadow palette, so I'm excited for that. I'm back. Anyways, I did my brows with... I did it with the... Oh my god, I can't even think. With the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. And it's in, in the shade black because I had black hair. Um, not anymore. Well, I still do, but I haven't re-dyed it. So. I did get the Chipotle bag. Here's the palette. And yeah, Chipotle eyeshadow palette. It is so cute. I like how the packaging looks like, you know, when they wrap a burrito in the foil. I think that's what they were going for, maybe. I think. Oh my god. Well, I just drop the eyeshadow palette amazing i hope that it's not broken any oh it's not okay good okay anyways here are the shades so cute they did take inspiration from the ingredients from chipotle so um it is actually a chipotle inspired palette they didn't just put random colors in there they were actually going for inspiration with the ingredients from chipotle and that's so cool we're gonna be playing with this palette so excited i do have to open it which i didn't think of doing oh yeah anyways i did set did 
use the CoverGirl, wow, it's so dirty, the CoverGirl Clean Professional Loose Setting Powder. And it's in the shade, I think, Translucent Light. I really like this powder for setting my foundation. So I'm going to see how it goes because I really like this powder. It makes your, your foundation uh, look really smooth, in my opinion. It's really pretty. After I did go in with the LA Girl setting spray, I did accidentally set this eye so we could just see how it looks like with a, a sticky base and compared to a powdered base, might as well. I think I'm going to go in with Pinto Beans. That's so cute. So I'm just going to put that in my crease. So yeah, I'm just, I just blended that shade out. Okay, I'm going to go in with black beans. Alright, I'm going to finish blending this out and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Alright, I'm gonna finish this up quick because I don't want my camera to die. Let me use a flat Bellium Tools brush. Take hot salsa. I'm just gonna do it in pressing motion so if I don't get too much fallout. This is add lettuce on my outer corner. So that's really pretty. I like these shades. They're more glittery than anything. Simple look, but I like it. I'm just gonna do the rest off camera and just finish up my face and everything while my battery charges. So I'll be right back. So I am back. Did a, uh, you know, tour and blush and I put on some lipstick. Put, um, highlight on my nose chin cupid's bow yeah mascara did all that so, yeah i'm gonna swatch this shade on my hand i thought it would be like a super red shade but actually it's pretty clear it's a clear gloss it does have a little bit of pink in it i feel like i would wear this by itself but yeah, I like this. And I did order chipotle. So, so I did order chipotle and I'm so excited because I'm so hungry. The chips really good as well. Quesadillas. I don't want to throw it on the ground. But you see, like, the real, it's really good. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. I got, um... I got chicken, of course it comes with cheese, it looks so good. Okay, let's try it. My nail came off. <laughs> I love the chicken from Chipotle. So, and a quesadilla, it tastes very good. Um, it has a lot of flavor in my opinion. The cheese is really good. These um, quesadillas are super good. And I wanted to review them because I was very curious. I might as well do it because, you know, like, we have the chipotle collection. So it's just fitting that we're going to eat as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I really like the quesadillas. I recommend them. Right now it is... 245 on this foundation at like 12. It's my cute gecko pumpkin. So cutie. So yeah. Um it's 245. Um me checking in, uh, you know, seeing how the foundation holds up. Let me look at it right now. So far it looks pretty good. The concealer is not creasing too much. I do feel a little dry on my and yeah I'm gonna finish my lunch because I'm starving. I'll be checking in with you guys right now so I'll see you in a little bit. 
using my Gecko's light as lighting right now because it's dark and yeah it's I don't know if it's because I ate earlier but yeah it looks glowy I like how it looks like in the middle of my face but everything else looks too dry try it out and see how it goes later on in the future so yeah um I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me try out the palette and the foundation um, sadly like I said the Chipotle collection is not available anymore but I wanted to you know play with it because it did come late so I hope that you guys enjoyed it regardless and if you guys have it then let me know how you guys like this palette Don't forget to subscribe down below it would really help me out really help my channel out and help me to be encouraged to make more videos so yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye